We all know who George Washington is. First president, war general, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. But do you really know who Thomas Jefferson is? Third president, really important? Hi, I'm Maddie Halleck, and I'm here to talk to you about Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was born on April 13, 1743 in Sadwell, Virginia, on a large plantation. Peter Jefferson, his father, was a successful planter, while Jane Jefferson, his mother, came from a prom prominent Virginia family. Jefferson had seven other siblings and was the eldest son. He later married Martha Whale Skelton on January 1st, 1772, and settled down in Monticello. Together, they had six children, but only two of them, Martha and Mary, lived into adulthood. His wife eventually died in 1782, but it is believed that he had more children with one of his slaves named Sally Hemings. Thomas Jefferson served in office from 1801 to 1809. Also during his presidency, he was responsible for the Louisiana Purchase. One of Jefferson's main goals was to gain the port of New Orleans because of its good trading system, but the Louisiana Territory was owned by the French. Jefferson made out a deal of $10 million to gain New Orleans, but walked out with the rest of the territory for only $5 million more. That's a pretty good deal, don't you think? Yeah! That was just one thing that went on during his presidency. Another thing that happened within the states during his presidency was the Lewis and Clark Expedition. The expedition took place shortly after the Louisiana Purchase. Jefferson commanded for an expedition to be held to search the new territory. The expedition went from St. Louis to the Pacific Coast, or near present-day Washington. The journey lasted from May of 1804 to September of 1806. While on their journey, they ran into a tribe of Native Americans and met Sacagawea. They later took her with them to help navigate where they needed to go. Also during his presidency, there was something big going on in France. Napoleon crowned himself emperor. Napoleon started as a war general with many ups and downs. Later in 1802, he was proclaimed consul for life. Two years later in 1804, he was claimed emperor of France. Okay, now that we've gone through that, let's see some interesting things Thomas Jefferson did. <laughs> One thing's for sure is that he was a terrible public speaker as shown in the picture. Another thing is that he was a very casual person. He was a talented musician, especially at the violin. And lastly, nowhere on his tombstone does it indicate that he was president at all. Sadly, Jefferson died on July 4th, 1826. 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence at Monticello. Actually, he strangely died a few hours before John Adams died in Massachusetts. <laughs>